Here we go again. Man United star Scott McTominay has revealed two strict rules that Eric Ten Hag has implemented at Manchester United. He told the High Performance Podcast, The manager is so demanding and he's got so many high standards that the whole squad have to comply with, which I think is brilliant. I think that's the way it should be, especially when you play for a club like Man United. We all have to act accordingly and be professional in terms of everything we do. He's massive on his timings, massive on every looking the same, wearing the same tracksuits and clothes. All that contributes toward a good team, so no one is a big ego. Everyone is in it together and pushing the right way. There can be little messages, like when I came on against Brentford, to go and show why you should be playing. For me, I just wanted to show him that I can do it. And he's obviously an amazing manager with great tactical dimensions to this game. Some of the things he says and how he conducts his meetings are brilliant. I just want to be a part of that. Meanwhile, Manchester United goalkeeper Andre Onana has the worst save a success rate at the Africa Cup of Nations. The Cameroonian flew out late to join up with his national team after insisting on staying with the Red Devils for their 2-2 draw with Tottenham. After missing his country's 1-1 draw with Guinea, he returned for the 3-1 loss to Senegal. According to Who Scored, he so far has a save percentage of zero, the worst in the competition. Elsewhere, Cristiano Ronaldo's Al Nasser want to sign Aaron Juan Bissaka, according to reports. The Saudi Pro League side are hoping to recruit a new right back this month. Last week they failed with a bid worth around 20 million pounds for Emerson Royal. According to The Telegraph's Mike McGrath, they are now hoping to sign Juan Bissaka from Man United. On the other side, Manchester United legend Rio Ferdinand has slammed Mikel Arteta's stupidity after he was recorded being fed by Salt Bay. On his Vibe with Five show, Ferdinand said, He, Salt Bay, was feeding some of the guests at my wedding like that. If I'm paying for that, he ain't feeding me nothing, not having it, but he was going around some of the guests doing that. A Man United manager ain't doing that, only an Arsenal manager would do that type of stupidness. Pep Guardiola ain't doing that. Again and again. Manchester United's big money duo Jadon Sancho and Anthony look set for permanent exits from Old Trafford this summer. And after splashing a combined £150 million on the pair, Man United are now reportedly willing to let them leave. According to the Evening Standard, Sancho and Anthony have been offered to clubs in the Saudi Pro League, as the Red Devils look to try and recoup some of the mammoth money then dropped on the two wingers. Meanwhile, Manchester United's new CEO Omar Barada reportedly has a strong view on underperforming players. Players who don't reach the desired performance levels are unlikely to be kept around at Old Trafford. According to Fabrizio Romano, Barada takes the view that if a player is not performing within two years, they will be sold. So, Eric Ten Hag has to try and retrack Manchester United's off-the-rails season. The Red Devils are struggling for form, and pressure is mounting on the Dutch boss. His side face Newport County in the FA Cup next, as they look to keep their final chance at silverware this season alive. Should United lose to the League Two outfit, then plenty of questions will be asked about Ten Hag's role at the club. On the other side, Manchester United have rejected a swap deal for right-back Aaron Juan Bissaka from Inter Milan, according to The Sun. Inter are said to have offered Denzel Dumfries for Juan Bissaka, but the Red Devils have turned it down. United's right-back has had his contract at Old Trafford extended until 2025, and he is set to stay at the club. Dumfries, on the other hand, is in a contract standoff with the Italian side, and they are looking to sell to comply with FFP rules. Elsewhere, Manchester United have been in contact with Bayern Munich over a loan move for Eric Maxim Chupo Moting, according to reports. The two clubs are said to have been negotiating a six-month loan deal with the German side, not expecting a big fee for the temporary switch. Eric Ten Hag is looking to bring in an experienced frontman, and Chupo Moting could provide a solution. United have a good relationship with Bayern after loaning Marcel Sabitzer in January last year. Again and again. Mason Greenwood will be at the top of Manchester United's questions to answer this transfer window. With new ownership and a new CEO, United has tightened the purse strings this January. Manager Eric Ten Hag has been restricted to cheap buys, as the club also has to abide by financial fair play regulations. 
One way around this could be to sell some players, as they are doing with Jaden Sancho. Another of those on the chopping block could be Mason Greenwood. The striker is currently playing in Spain for Getafe FC and is unlikely to ever play for the Red Devils again. Since the move, the 22-year-old has scored five goals and provided four assists in ten games since moving to Getafe in September. New CEO Omar Berada is known as a capable businessman and could see Greenwood as an easy way to make some dosh. Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, and AC Milan are all keeping tabs on Greenwood's form. Sunsport revealed last week that Barada's former club Barcelona are eyeing a £40 million of pounds move and are prepared to offer the winger Lionel Messi's old number 10 shirt to secure his services. Selling him could free up cash for the striker United desperately needs. United are reportedly interested in Brentford's Ivan Toney or Stuttgart's Serho Guirassi. Greenwood was recently interviewed on his time at Getafe. He said, Everything's fine, I adapted pretty quickly, my teammates took me under their wing, and I've just been happy ever since coming here, training and playing the games. The fans mean a lot to me, the best feeling so far is when I scored my first goal here at the stadium, and it meant a lot to me, I heard the fans quite a lot. United turned to the loan market over the summer as spending continued to be tight and its ownership drama ongoing. Contract extensions are another thing that will impact United's ability to spend, with several players seeing their contracts run down. The club are considering extensions for Casemiro, Varane, and Aaron Juan Bissaka. But, with the ownership dramas over and Sir Jim Ratcliffe pledging to invest into the club, the summer window could see some big signings. Greenwood had reportedly been set to be welcomed back into the fold by Eric Ten Hag, before Sunsport exclusively reported United had made a U-turn due to the volatile reaction. He had not played prior to joining Getafe since January 2022 after being arrested on suspicion of attempted rape, assault, and coercive control. All charges against Greenwood were dropped at this Friday. Meanwhile, Scott McTominay has offered huge praise for Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag. The Scott discussed his current gaffer on the High Performance podcast and was gushing about his standards. Ten Hag has been well known for his no-nonsense approach and is said to be very demanding of his squad. McTominay said, The manager is so demanding and he's got so many high standards that the whole squad have to comply with, which I think is brilliant. I think that's the way it should be, especially when you play for a club like Man United. We all have to act accordingly and be professional in terms of everything we do. On the other side, Anthony Martial has been linked with a move away from Old Trafford this month. But despite the whispers, the star's agent, Philippe Lambolet, has claimed he will be staying put. Lambolet explained, Anthony will not leave Man United and will stay until his contract ends in June. What is said about him is completely false. He was not excluded from the group, and he has no problem with the coach. The Frenchman's current terms with Man Ut are set to expire at the end of the season.